Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I am going to explain how uh, to do image mounting using FTK Imager. As you can see, I've got the FTK Imager opened. But before I begin the process, um, I would like to just quickly explain uh, what does it mean to mount a disk image. So, um, mounting a hard disk makes it accessible by the computer. So, for instance, let me just show you the file I'm going to uh, mount. So, in here, this is the file I'm going to mount. So, basically, it's a raw data which is not uh, readable by the computer. Um, so, when you mount an image, it makes the computer accessible to find what is inside that image. So, basically, this is a software process that enables the operating system to read and write data to the disk. Most disks are automatically mounted by the operating systems, um, such as if you see here, my C drive, which is automatically mounted by my um, operating system. While disk images are not physically disks, they must also be mounted in order for the computer to recognize them. Disk images may be mounted uh, by either the operating system or a disk utility program. Um, okay, uh, let's just begin the process. Um, and also, like once the disk image has been mounted, its contents will appear as a physical disk in the computer, which is what we are going to do. Adding the raw data image to mounting this computer and you're going to access the files so let's create the process it's quite simple and straightforward go to file sorry um, image mounting in the image file section you just choose which image you want to uh, mount so basically that's the one um, dot eon file when you open it it's gonna ask you mount type whether if you want it to be physical and logical or can it be physical only or logical for the sake of this video i'm going to leave it to physical and logical and it automatically detects the next available drive so you can choose anything you want but i'm going to leave it as it is um, as when you mount an image it's always better to leave it as read only because you don't need to alter image once it's been mounted but there is an option for writable or read only so i'm going to leave it block device read only and i'm going to click mount and uh, let me just show you again um, you go to this pc there is no other drive other than my c drive so i am going to just click mount okay that's a very straightforward quick process as you could see it has done it and then if i go back to my uh, this pc as you can see i've got three drives has been uh, mounted so uh, all these files which were here um, this image um, was non-readable which we basically what we did mount it to the computer and say hey I've just uh, make it makes it possible for you to read this file so here you go just show me what you got when you click it as you could see it makes it um, computer readable like um, basically accessible by the computer so uh, there you go when you go you could literally see everything um, and yep everything is accessible um, this is how you uh, mount an image also okay so uh, what is the purpose of this well basically when you carry an image when you extracted an image you could use a forensic tool such as FTK imager or NCase autopsy cane helix there are many more forensic tools which you can basically uh, you can load it to them and you could um, do the acquisition or you could just um, have a read through but sometimes it's better if you just mount it to your computer if you want it to be like easy accessible way that you want to find through manually this is one of the way to do it and uh, once you are done say okay hey um, I'm done with this image so basically I just don't want this in my computer so what should I do quite easy uh, just click each of the partitions and click unmount it just deletes the partitions 
from your computer. There you go. It's all done. Let's close it and let's have a look. There you go. It's all gone. It's only my um, C drive is remain. So that's how you mount and unmount an image using Access Data FTK Imager. Um, thank you for watching.